All right, everybody. Welcome back to another day of Framing Club. Today we're going to be doing some framing. Well, the walls are all pretty much done. We probably just have a little bit of touch up here and there for the most part. They're, they're fine. So what we're doing is preparing the walls and everything for the delivery of the trusses. Uh, there's not much on YouTube about how this is actually done. Uh, Matt Bangs Wood, he does a lot of framing videos. He has a few. The problem is they're all done with a crane, and I don't know if we're going to have a crane here. I pretty much guarantee we're not. Uh, the trust company will have one on their truck. Hopefully they can get them up here, but I don't really know how it's going to work. Again, there's not many videos of it. Most trust related videos, they're already up in the air. So, yeah, I don't know. What we did so far was we built these little temporary uh, bridges or braces so we can lay the trusses up here, lay them down, drag them where they need to go, stand them back up. Makes sense, huh? And they're just kind of sitting here supported. Let me show you one over here in the slightly more shade. So we put a little spacer block and then a stud up the wall. This uh, 14 foot 2x4 then sits on that stud, runs across, there's another stud on that middle dividing wall, and then a stud here for support. You can see how we did that. And yeah, so we got two of those down the uh, resident side of this building, and now we are going to start the one for the garage side. Uh, span here a little greater, so it'll be a little more fun. Now, one other problem I haven't really talked about is our concrete over here on this north wall is so bad, the entire thing is kind of shaped like that. And this entire wall, north wall, also wants to tow in to match the concrete. Uh, that's going to be uh, a little tricky to fix, probably take some shims. But to keep the wall straight right now, I have the uh, lumber trailer located next to the wall and a strap going up to the middle. The strap is nice and taut, and that's what's currently keeping our wall nice and plumb. But when we get our little support walkway thing going across the middle, it'll help push this wall out, and then when the trusses go on, they're going to need a bunch of sway braces anyway, and uh, that'll kind of finish it off and hold it where it needs to go. So yeah, let's get started. Well, tomorrow morning our trusses are going to arrive, or so they say. Put some uh, wood up here on the ends, so when we stand this truss up and it hits it, it should be nice and level. We have our walkway built. Not really a walkway, but more of a truss support way. Uh, important safety note, if you're going to be doing this, don't leave any soda cans around because bees like it. So I'm going to get rid of that in the morning. See this guy has around where the soda can was before I kicked it. Yeah, hopefully they go away. I don't want bees. So, should be good to go. We'll see what the morning brings. Hey Brandon, this is calling to let you know. Um, I probably won't be tomorrow. It, um, we deliver those trusses. It's going to be first vote Thursday. Um, I just went out and checked right now around the yard. and They've only got one truss built for your project. So they're going to need most of the day tomorrow to get it done. Um, but we'll be there bright and early at uh, 7 o'clock your time, which would be 6 o'clock our time, um, 6 o'clock California time, and uh, we'll be at the job site at 6 on Thursday morning. So that would be at the job site at 7 o'clock in Arizona. All right. Thanks, Brandon. Have a good one. No sissy slippers today. Going to need actual boots. Can't be falling off trusses, you know. So now I'm just waiting for the truss to show up at a truck. And it is 
this is probably normal in the construction world. Hopefully they show. Well, Trust Company came uh, when I ordered them. He told me they'd put them on the roof if they can, and if not, then I gotta order a crane. And it turns out, which is I predicted, they couldn't put them all up there. They were able to put this one bundle. The problem is our center support here never would have handled anymore. Had it have been beefier, maybe, but it just wasn't gonna happen. So I'm gonna try getting them up myself. Shouldn't be impossible. We'll see how it goes. Here are the trusses sitting on the ground. A little, a little unfortunate, but it is what it is. See, they look good. It's a lot of wood sitting here. So the trusses that are up go on this end of the building. So the plan is, the very top one is the very end one that goes over here. So the plan is just drag them across the roof and flip them up and install them. There's seven there so we can get to the interior wall. There's 33 total so it's a, it's a ways to go still. They weigh about 300 pounds each so dragging them won't be impossible but it won't be fun. If only I had a way to, to drag them. You know, if only I had some type of... Some type of hoist that would do it. Oh, I'm gonna need to get some more rope, tie it down there, and drag them across. I don't know, we'll see how that goes tomorrow. Alright everybody, wish me luck.